Okay, so in this demo, what we're going to do is that we're going to play with this little UI we have created that interacts with Cognito via plain JavaScript. So let's start by signing up. So this is a simple email ID that I've created, dev.life at Gmail, and I am going to put in a password over here. So this is going to be my password. I'm going to stick it in. And as of now, if you see that there are no users inside this pool, so let's say sign up and we get returned back an object from uh, Cognito. You can right click and copy the object and study it so that you can act appropriately. Now I'm going to refresh and here you can see that a new user is created. Its email status is unverified. And if I go to Gmail, you will see that a new verification code has also come in. So we got to verify the email now. So here I have actually asked the user to stick in the email ID again. This is a little bit ridiculous. You'll probably pass it in by a query string or something like that. Uh, and under that, you put in the verification code. So let's hit verify email. And in response, we get something like this success. Finally, we are going to log in as this user. So uh, in order to log in, again, email ID is already entered in. And for the password, I am going to put in the password and hit login. So after a bit, I get a massive object. Um, I have copy pasted that object over here, but you can also copy paste it from the browser console. Further in the article, we talk about the JWT token that we got from Cognito and how do we verify that it is indeed come from Cognito so that nobody is pretending or hacking into your application by pretending to be another user. Okay. There's another uh, who am I at some later stage in your application. You can say, hey, who's the logged in guy? So you can call that function. And once again, you get that object. Um, one last thing is that let's simulate logout. So I'm going to hit logout and then it just responds with undefined. But this time when we say get current user, we get the user is not authenticated. So that's the whole demo. And pretty much all of these little blocks are working. Of course, they won't exist on the same page. You'll split them up within your application on appropriate pages. But I've put all the code in one place so that you know how to use all of this uh, where it is appropriate for your use case. Thanks for watching.